With Bitcoin continuing in this sideways consolidation, could we actually be looking for a new lower high to be put in with the all-time high currently set in stone for lower prices to come? I'm going to be going over the more bearish scenario for you today of how we as traders need to be prepared for both scenarios. I always find as a little tip before we begin, if you are just so focused on one scenario and you are completely oblivious, you do not even recognize another scenario, you are always lining yourself up for failure. As you know, I have a overall higher term time frame bullish bias. I am expecting new all time highs to come. For me, that is my plan, that is my bias, and that is how I am lined up in terms of trades. I am not in any short trades. I am in all my long trades. So naturally, I am looking for a new all-time high to come. You can see I've got my alert set. I'm ready and waiting for that to happen. But I recognize and I understand that price can drop and I can be wrong. Okay, this is the way that I trade. This is the way I prepare myself. I'm all about probabilities. For me right now, the probabilities are still higher that we will hit a new all time high. But let's go over this scenario of where I'm wrong. What would that look like? So let's come down on a lower term time frame here together. And we can see, you know, pretty simply now for a week. Okay, for the past week, we have been going sideways. And this has been a really nice range. This is a range that has been absolutely tradable in terms of taking some longs towards the range low, taking some shorts towards the range high, simply trading this mini range till it breaks. And what I actually like about this mini range that we got going on here is how this lines up very nicely with the larger range that we also have in play. Okay, so let me just add that on for you. We take our um, parallel channel from the lows down here up to the highs, and this gives us a higher term time frame channel, a more medium term time frame. And then we have the lower term time frame channel here, right? So it's just like a fractal. We've got a sideways channel going on here, locally to trade within a larger sideways channel to be trading here locally. So this is really, really nice. I enjoy this type of price action, although some people might call it boring and slow. Hey, boring and slow is good. I, I, I like boring and slow. It gives some very nice trade setups when you remain patient for them. Okay, so that's just to show what we have going on. And so what would this look like in terms of seeing some very big weakness? Well, first of all, right, we need to break down from our lower term time frame channel. So let's zoom back into this. And of course, we have some things called higher term time frame levels, naked point of controls, things that you'll be absolutely aware of if you're a member of Chart Champions, right? This is our bread and butter. And so within this lower term time frame sideways consolidation that we are seeing right now, I will always tell you trade the range till it breaks. That means you look for shorts towards range high and you look for longs towards range low. If you break out of that range, that means you break the highs, hold it as support, you look onwards towards your next level to the upside. And if you break the range low and flip it into resistance, then you look for your next levels towards the downside. You can actually see we have things called naked point of controls here lining up on each outer boundary of the range. So towards the, towards the middle of the channel on that higher term time frame channel, I hope I'm not losing you here. That higher term time frame channel you can see is brought down towards the monthly naked point of control. Monthly naked point of control, of course, the higher term time frame, the highest term time frame that we use for our naked point of controls, sitting there just around 66,975 on this little bit of consolidation that we saw well, early in Monday morning as the CME opened, right? As you all know, well, I hope you can remember that this coincides really nicely, right? A little bit below with the CME gap. As we know, the top of this CME gap, we look to hold as support, very similar to trading a channel. If we see acceptance then below the range low, if we see acceptance into the gap, we look to fill this CME gap. So please don't forget the CME gap. It is, in, you know, it is something to definitely be remembering if we see acceptance into that, okay, and how this can line up with bigger levels that we have in terms of weekly naked point of controls, okay, below us. So that's the way that I'd line up the CME, filling the gap when we look back to Bybit. Of course, I'd personally trade on Bybit. I trade on Bing X. And so I like to use Bybit USD for my analysis. And what I would look is coinciding, right, the fill of the CME gap or the small support of the CME gap with some levels on the Bybit chart that I can actually look to trade. 
Okay, so just to summarize then what we got going on as support, we got the local smaller range low. Okay, if we lose that, then we are looking down towards our next higher term time frame levels. And I would also have in my mind of how this lines up with the CME gap. If we, for example, are coming down and back testing that monthly naked point of control while they're on the top of the um, CME gap, this is increasing that support level. Okay, so we'd like we always like to see it's like when we're trading altcoins, right? We like to trade altcoins when the let's say we're trading Sol against Tether. We love to trade a long on Sol Solana when the Tether pair is hitting support and the BTC pair is hitting support, right? Okay, Sol against Tether, Sol against BTC. When they line up together, we get a golden long opportunity on that altcoin. We could say the same similarly when we're looking at, for example, the buy Bitcoin based and CME charts. When they're lining up together, you love to see that and it adds that extra layer of support. OK, we'll say one very quick announcement for you, and that is that I have on my recent live stream yesterday for the champions. I covered Bitcoin, of course, <laughs> uh, Solana, Avalanche, Pepe and Jam, Jasmine. Jasmine coin, not Jamzy. Jasmine altcoin uh, I covered in the champions. I gave some very lovely, I want to say, setups of what I'm looking at into the future for Solana, Avalanche, Pepe, and Jasmine altcoins. If you're interested in altcoins, I'm getting back into them. And of course, always loving crypto, well, Bitcoin, and that is a given. And with that, of course, we have the final few days of the 70% offer too. So if you do want to take advantage of that 70% off your first month back, of course, really simply use code BTC70K at checkout and you will get 70% off the Chart Champions membership, which is the biggest and last time we'll be, we will be doing such a big uh, discount. So yeah, final few days to take advantage of this if you want to get access to our daily live stream updates, access to the discords, access to those live streams. Today I released a new video for the contenders, which is the type of traders part two, why and the reasons behind changing to a swing trader. And of course you got every single you know live stream and the whole educational live streams uh, up to the final course of Elliott Waves. Everything over on the platform chartchampions.com right now. 70% offer biggest and final time you will ever see such a discount. So yeah, if you want to take advantage, now is the time. And back to the charts of what we got going on locally. So I've covered the, you know, the levels that we have in terms of support, right? CME gap lining up with some naked point of controls below us. Above us, I, I feel that these levels are not as strong. You can see where my alert is, right? I'm looking for above $74,000. Locally, of course, we have a few levels and this is where i've said on a live stream right just because their levels doesn't mean they're tr you know you don't need to trade every single level you see on the chart you have to understand the context and the confluence right and so what we have here are some levels but they do not have strong context neither strong confluence the biggest one we could say is this naked point of control just above price action currently the range high because that's where you could see a fake out of range high swing failure pattern range high onto the weekly naked point of control yeah you got a nice little intraday uh, trade setup there, right? But when we start to move on towards $73,000, this is where we have low confluence and the probabilities are extremely high at this point to take out all time high. So it's very, 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 very unlikely that I'm going to be taking any trades at these three levels, right? Because they're just too low confluence and I would be absolutely full focused on the new all time high. Doesn't mean it's going to hit, okay? It is a game of probabilities. We could come up to 73750 slightly front run the all-time high and get a pullback that could happen but you know i've got my probabilities i've got my statistics of what i'm looking at and at that point yeah i would absolutely be looking for the all-time high um so yeah i hope that you have enjoyed this quick rundown video uh, i have covered what i'd be looking at in terms of support in terms of resistance why uh, and how i could be wrong OK, and that just simply requires us to keep losing support. But while we maintain the overall range low, the higher term time frame range low, and we're trading above 50K, I am looking for this new all time high. And so that's my game plan. If you want to see more of myself and the other coaches, you can get it right now with that 70 percent off. And of course, it's like these public videos, but even more detailed, precise trading setups, right? We're giving you the, 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 all the goodies inside of the membership. So if you want it, you know where to get it. 
chartchampions.com. I wish you the best. I hope you've enjoyed. And if you have, you know what you can do. Give a like to the video down below. Leave a comment. I always read them all and uh, help us, uh, you know, with, with that algorithm. So, uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed. Thank you ever so much. And I will see you in the next one. Cheers, everybody. Thank you. And that's me signing out. Goodbye.